How is e-commerce taxed, in, generally speaking, in, in Canada? So you have two issues with e-commerce. One is corporate tax, and the corporate tax is like what we've discussed. In other words, we would look at where are the servers, where is the fulfillment, you know, what all that. We sort of already hit on that. Um, the uh, you, it's the same rules, really. Uh, it's not different e-commerce than any other type of business. You look at uh, what are the ties to Canada, really. It's sort of quite similar to the the personal rules. They're, it's kind of the same principle. You look at what does the end? What because don't forget a corporation is an is an entity. So it's 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 not in a way it's kind of like a person, except it doesn't survive its demise. <laughs> the company doesn't, right? Um, some people think people survive the demise. I'm getting them off course. Okay, um, that was a joke. Nobody's laughing. Okay. Um, anyway. Um, so uh, the big issue is, is not the corporate tax because that follows the same rules and you have to worry about the same things. It's the sales tax. And it's very interesting, the sales tax, because um, it depends on what you're selling. If you're selling a product to a Canadian, you have to charge HST uh, or GST. And in the province, and you, know, you have to sort that out. And everybody can see it because... You know, we buy practically since the pandemic, we buy everything online. And we're all, no matter we're buying online, it's coming from the US, we, we're charged HS2 or for Ontario, right? And you have to look at the province and, you know, the tax, the, our tax rates in Ontario are different for province and you have to pay in each area. Um, where you get, where what's interesting are again the digital services. For the digital streaming services, Canada decided to make the individual who receives the streaming service pay them directly. So if I have Netflix and they don't charge me HST, which they don't, I'm supposed to pay the government. Well, there was an auditor's report on this joke, and they discovered that nobody's doing it because nobody knows about it. I didn't know about it till today when I was actually researching the question and came across the auditor's report, and they said that in since 20, they, they, this rule came out in 2017. Since 2017, there have been exactly 500 payments. Nobody, at one, 500 times in the whole country, did anybody ever pay the, their HST personally, uh, like whatever the percentage is, right? And then they only paid it once, and then they stopped paying. They have no, they can't enforce it. And, you know, like everybody in Canada has Netflix. So the only 500 people all together paid for whatever, whatever digital streaming services we have. Um, what's the other one? Uh, Amazon Prime, HBO. We have them all, right? We, we've never, I didn't know until today that we were even supposed to pay. They never publicized it. And also, do you know that the other part of this is so far, the Canadian government has done zero audits on this, on, on this stuff. So, but they are moving now to, to really close this up because they need money in every which way, all, everywhere in the country, they need money. So you're, uh, you have to now sort this out, sort out your business and uh, pay the appropriate taxes to, for wherever your customer is. And then you also have to look at the taxes for if you have a perm if you can be said to have a permanent establishment in Canada, you have to look at your situation and get advice from experts. Okay, fantastic. <laughs> it's changing also. It's evolving and changing all the time. Yes. Yeah. yeah. I think uh, e-commerce and uh, taxes around digital services is one of those areas that is very cutting edge and the rules are constantly evolving internationally as well as domestically as well. So, yeah. Does, does the U.S. tax e-commerce uh, uh, streaming oh. services? Uh, uh, I mean, the sales tax? The states, it's state taxes, right? Right. Taxes? So in, in terms of the digital services, the, the big guys like uh, Netflix, none of them I'm aware of. Uh, I mean, I they, pay they, tax, they pay corporate tax or whatever, but to the consumer. Yeah, uh, I'm talking about sales tax. Yeah, like no, that no, tax, sales tax. Yeah, so the sales taxes tend to be reserved for physical or tangible products, but uh, i uh, increasingly, I think 10 states so far have jumped in the bandwagon for SaaS. So software as a service. So yeah. for those, 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 uh, those smaller digital uh, 
products uh, are, are being taxed increasingly, but it's, a, it's an emerging space. Please subscribe, like, share, and comment below. Our books and upcoming events are available at htj.txt. Email us at help at htj.txt to engage us to advise on international tax or business matters.